Hey guys, hope the hope it's bright enough. It's it's been a minute since I've I've made a video. <laughs> Especially a haul video. So um yeah, I'm I'm still crafting. It's just uh slow going and I have a lot of stuff happening at the moment. Um but I made a purchase from Timu. I've got something else coming to also have to do um another video. Uh and I also stopped by Dollar Tree a couple times. I didn't really get much. I really don't most of the stuff does just doesn't interest me in Dollar Tree, but I needed like um glucosamine for Dottie and stuff like that. So um I may need to adjust the camera a couple times. I apologize. All right, so uh, let's start with Dollar Tree and get that over with real quick. I got these, um, what are they? Mini stemless glasses. Okay, I guess that's the one I call. And that one is, that may have been my fault. dog could have stepped on it or something. Oh well. I mean, whatever. I bought these like a few months ago. <laughs> um, I haven't been diamond painting at all. Um, I'm halfway done with the dash hound. It's been a couple months. You know like um, Ray, why would it take a couple months to do a 20 by 20? It's just I've been going through a lot. <laughs> Um, I need to finish that up, obviously, before Wendy's event. Um, I got this Jack 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 toy. I'm not sure if I have them, and um, I was there. I don't get to go to Dollar Tree often. Not that I usually went to Dollar Tree often. I generally don't shop at Dollar Tree unless I need Dottie's glucosamine or some bath product that I like. Um... But now I get off work at uh, 6.30 in the morning. By the time I get back into Shelton, it's like um, around 7. And then it's another 35, 40 minute drive home. So um, most businesses are not open <laughs> that early. Um, I got a package of foam tape. I, you know, I was there. I didn't need it, but I was there. So I bought it. And um, I got a hole punch. My mom took mine and doesn't know where it is. So, um, hopefully it works. It's not thick paper. That's the real test of a good hole punch. <laughs> it's, uh, thinner paper. As soon as I can get into it here. Because my crocodile, although it punches holes very nicely, um, its largest hole, hole punch, uh, is smaller than a quarter inch. So this is receipt paper pretty thin. And it punched, so that's good. Okay. Yep, yeah, it works. Yay. Yay, Dollar Tree. You you did good on that one thing. Um, and I got some stickers. The only pack that I got were just some cute little boo ghosts. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm not, I haven't is I love getting stickers. Dollar Tree just hasn't been offering anything that, you know, I've loved. Um, and then I got a pack of the smaller envelopes and the bigger envelopes for, you know, um, uh, uh, what's the word? Giveaways? Contests? Yeah, challenges. There we go. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually. All right, on to diamond paintings. Um, I know I haven't been doing diamond painting lately. It's not that I don't want to. It's just a lot. You know, sometimes life throws you through the meat grinder, and uh, you know, we're st I'm still waiting to find out what what comes out the other side. So, um. I stopped by Sabzi's house and she gifted me a diamond painting from Diamond Dots, which was super sweet of her. I wonder if she got it at Walmart. Does Walmart sell the Diamond Dots for him? I think they do. 
Um, yeah, I don't buy games. <laughs> I think Walmart sells this brand, though. Um, and they are, it's a little pixelated. Uh, it's a bunch of succulents. Um, I do love it. I do love it. My favorite plant is, um, ferns. My favorite flower are, is, um, is it are or is, is, uh, are bleeding hearts. I love, that's my favorite flower is bleeding hearts. Um, Neither of which I feel companies will ever make down pigs. <laughs> I mean, ferns, I feel like that'd be a hard one to do. Um, I should have done it the other way. I don't normally straighten these out on camera, but it's it's a little hard to see. Um, and I'll have to do it again when I'm off camera. Or I can just take the cover off, even though it's a little buddy. I don't really care for the canvases that have the image, sorry, not in frame, the image, um, you know, printed and there's no drills. I don't really care for that, but... I'd rather just have drills going all the way to the edge, but that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, there's the succulents. I'm very happy. It's very pretty. Um, and I love that. I'm super thankful, especially because Sabby's, you know, going through shit of her own and <sighs> she didn't have to do that. Does this have a canvas number on it? Um, I don't know. Let me pause you, and then I also may um, adjust the camera, because from this height, you're getting a lot of glare. So give me one moment, por favor. Okay, this next one, um, I absolutely adore. The image is a little inverted, but luckily it has a paper printout. As, you know, most of the tiny bag canvases do. Um, and it's a beautiful picture. 50 by 50. This isn't usually a, a genre I go with. Not that I don't adore dragons. But, you know, it's just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to take off the plastic. Maybe you will be able to see them. And I will get the price that I paid for it in just a moment. Okay, so, yeah. It's... Oops, sorry. I boomed you. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um, I feel like you can see it relatively well. I love... See, I wouldn't have gotten this picture if it was any smaller because in her arm, um, it's a lot of dragon scale tattoos. It's got dragon scale tattooing on her face, on her neck. And, um, I feel like if you went any smaller, you'd, you'd lose all that tattooing. That's why I loved how big Maze was, you know, cause she had those, uh, tribal-esque tattoos on her face and her hand. And so, you know, she needed to be that big for those tattoos to come out. Um, it looks a little dark, but I think it'll be okay. The drills, uh, some of the colors looked a little questionable, like how bright this, this orange is, but I feel like it'll, I just have to trust the process, right? I'm just going to Trust the process and it'll be okay. Um, so let me show you the picture because I think that's going to uh, give you a better representation of it. Um, oh, shoot. I missed some stuff from Dollar Tree. Okay, I'll show that real quick. Um, I will note that on this canvas, the B's and the 8's, the colors are pretty similar and... Um, so is the shape <laughs> of both the B's and the eights. So you're really going to have to um, watch out for that.
Um, and that was, let me go down or up. I did pay $8.49 for that. Um, real quick from Dollar Cheeks. <laughs> I forgot. Um, I got a package of pens. I must have thrown the package away. These are the Just Writes. This pack came with orange, green, and pink. Um, they write super nice. Um, the other two colors must be in my car. But can you even see that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I needed pens, and I probably have them in the house somewhere, but I needed pens that have this, um, this clip on it, um, because one of the tasks of my new job is counting hundreds and hundreds of packet packets, or what do you call cartons, or tins of tobacco and nicotine products. And so I have a clipboard <laughs> and my pens kept, the caps kept coming off, the ones that had a cap. And then when the caps came off, then they just roll away, you know, and then I'd lose, I'd lose my pens to the cigarettes, you know, and I wanted cool colored pens. I didn't want to be lame and write with black or blue, you know, so I'm usually writing with pink or green or purple. Um, oh, and then I got some nail polishes. Dollar Tree really did not have a whole lot. Um, this was Color Vibe Gel Like. This is really, and I know the camera's not going to pick up the color. Uh, this is like a gray blue, and then it has a AB throw to it of purple and blue, like a darker blue blue and then purple really translucent I really would have loved to find some more glitter polishes because I found that in the dragon eyes I really prefer the ones that have glitter in it as in all things in my life I like glitter so um this is a um oh my goodness cobalt blue it looks really dark in the bottle so that it'd look navy, but in the light, it's very much cobalt, but it's very dark. Um, yes. I don't know if I have anything near these colors. Obviously, I was at the store and not at home, so I couldn't look. This is a dark maroon red CV uh, color vibe. Um, this one is just bitten, so yes, it's, it's a very dark maroon red not that you're gonna be able to see it but you know whatever and um this one color vibe again this one's called sneak peek which is kind of dumb it's kind of like a mobby or a dusty rose pink color war with um purple throws so again it's translucent i would have really liked to find more opaque polishes but that's hard <laughs> it's hard to do um and then this one is gray it just it, this one looks more opaque it's just a um i don't know i don't know in, in this lighting if i would call it a warm or cool gray this lighting is shit um and then this is a light blue color vibe i guess um all these are color vibes it kind of looks like an opaque uh, sky blue, so sorry if I was not in frame. That's how you know it's me. Okay. Um, yes. All right. Back to Timu. Uh, next, I got this journal, which was... Um, 2.43. I'm going to be sending this back, and, um, yeah, if they'll take it back. If they don't take it back, then I'll do it, but otherwise, I'm going to be sending it back. So, this one has gemstones, um, and here is the pattern of journal. Um, I like the pattern. Uh, the re I did not know that this there's indents on the back here. I mean, fine for yourself if you're giving it for a gift, not so much. Um, 
I was expecting this to be a hardbacked journal, for one thing. Uh, the second thing is the pages are um, painfully thin. They're not as thin as tracer paper, but they feel... Why does that page feel thin or thick? Okay. Apparently the first page is thick. <laughs> the rest of the pages are thinner than computer paper. So you won't even be able to write on these pages with a light-handed pencil. And you're going to see all the indentations on pages below it. You're going to see the writing on the back of it. And so the, page, the paper is just such poor quality that... Um, you know, I kind of don't want to give it as a gift. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's going to go back. It's, it's got a pretty design. It's, I mean, it was cheap. Um, has rhinestones. Oh, I did not show you the picture of that dragon. I am so sorry. Let me do that. So yes, this diamond painting does have the tiny guys. I don't mind, you know, to each their own. Okay, here is the picture of the dragon and the lady. So, I don't know, I loved it. I loved that, um, you know, it was kind of a, I mean, it has gray in it. You know, it's half gray, half brown, but I love that it was kind of monotone or monochromatic browns, you know. Um... And yeah, I, I definitely think that the tattoos are going to come through, you know, in this. I mean, you don't see a lot of the scales except for the belly scales uh, or belly scoots. I don't know what you call the front scales of a dragon. Um, but I feel like, you know, with the scales that you can see on the dragon will come through. So, yeah, should be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, I'll fix this later. Oh, don't fall. Bad. Stay. Okay. Um, this next one, I believe, is a tiny bag one, too. And I don't know if I'm sending this one back. Um, It looks really dark on the canvas. I love the image, but it looks really dark on the canvas. Um, okay. This is a 40 by 60. Does it have the... No, this one does not have a paper, so I can't show you. Um... I'm tempted to keep it because I was really looking inspe inspecting this, you know. Um, yeah, this one has symbols. I, I fucking hate it when they use symbols. I don't know why I hate symbols so much. I, I just, I hate it. Um, I was really looking at the symbols on the canvas and... Um, I think I see definition. You know, I, it's just so dark. It's so dark. Just as it, just on its own in the drills. But I feel like there's potential with the drills. Um, yeah, my camera does not pick up the colors through the cellophane well. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. But uh, I think I might keep it. It's an Egyptian woman. Um, this one's kind of big. Do I scoot you back? I don't know. I probably make everything worse. Okay. So we'll just. She, it's an Egyptian woman. She's got a cat head like headdress on. She's got a lot of jewelry in her necklace area, but it's very dark. You know, it is. And I have to ask myself, do I want to go through all this risk? 
and it potentially not come out, you know, spend all that time on it and it not come out. Um, there is the little image. I mean, the right side, or technically her left side of her face is shadowed. You know, it's in a shadow. So I feel like that's why it's a little bit darker if the camera's picking this up at all. Um, so yeah, I'm still pondering on it. I think I want to inspect it a little bit more and then I will make my final determination. Okay. Um, does your it says Mrs. Round on it. Okay, I should be able to figure that out. Alright. Timu has been having some really cool um, Deadpool diamond pennies on their site, and I really wanted them, but uh, pretty much all of them, including a uh, Nick Wilde and um, Judy Hopps diamond painting, um, are all listed as local, and they are double the price of canvases of similar size, so... I guess I won't be getting any chances of Judy Hopps and Nicholas Wilde or Deadpool. Not that I need them. You know, it's not like I'm... Sorry I keep bumping the camera. It's not like I'm running low on canvases, you know? Alright. Uh, this is another apple. I was kind of taking a little chill pill on apples because I have not done a single apple yet. Um, I'm going to this September, but... Um, this, I don't know, this, it reminded me, this one is packaged in Ziplocs for those that care. Um, it reminded me of the apple that I was working, that I'm going to be working on and that I originally fell in love with and got on this stupid apple kick with. Um, there's like a big autumn tree here. Uh, there's mountains, sunset, or sunrise. Um, and then, like, a river going down the center, and it's got, like, glass droplets on the bottom, and it's, it's just really pretty. Oh, the price for the Egyptian woman was eight ninety eight. Um, Apple was five forty eight. This shipment took weeks for two <laughs> to send out. <laughs> Because they're like, if you want to cancel this one item, which happened to be this apple, we'll get your package sent out right away. It's like, no, I'd rather wait and collect the credit that you guys give me. And they did. They gave me $10 worth <laughs> of credit. It's like, I can wait for the apple. I can wait for it. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. Um... Sorry, let me write it on real quick. This is a 40 by 40, by the way. Z, T. Ooh, that's a bad M. Z, T, M. 5, 9, 6, 6, and um, we're going to draw... Um, I can never think of a single fucking image to draw. We're going to draw two crossed. Uh, I do this because I have too many fucking apple images. And this cellophane is resisting the permanent marker, which is great. Okay. I'm going to have to draw on the back of it with a ballpoint pen. Okay. Um, what's my time? 
24, 25. We'll do one more. And then I guess I'll save it. Um, this one I wasn't sure if I was going to like, but I think I do like it. I just wasn't sure how the fins were going to we're going to turn out. All right, uh, 40 by 40. This one was 359. Um it is of a very luscious looking beta fish with fins galore. Um I don't know how they're going to turn out. I think that the because the fish is the focal point and I think that it, it's big enough. I mean, it's going to be uh, a confetti fest for sure. Um, I don't mind that so much. Yeah, I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is my favorite fish. Because I just think that they are so intelligent, you know. And I feel so bad that most folks keep them... I mean, when I was growing up, you know, the lore, the lore, the story was, was that betas liked to be in tiny containers that were really dirty, you know, with their own poop, you know, because they are native to rice paddy, you know, um, what do they call them? Rice paddy flats? Rice paddy fields? Fields? Um, so they liked, you know, um water that was dirty and gross and that couldn't be the furthest from the truth they love clean water you know but because they're native to a more shallow water with a much lower oxygen level then they developed the organs that allow them to breathe the atmosphere and i think that is so cool um Guaramis have that same breathing organ that allows them to breathe the atmosphere. So they definitely like clean filtered water. They definitely need their water heated. You know, they are tropical fish. They're not meant to just wither away in, you know, a, a, a teacup, you know. So really pretty. Um... 27. I think I can do one more. This one I also was not sure I was going to keep. I'm not sure how in love with it I was after I bought it. But I think it'll turn out okay. Um, this one is in the box. So this is a glass teapot, a see-through glass teapot with goldfish in it, which would certainly be dead within the hour if it were <laughs> a teapot with goldfish in it. Um, it's kind of hard to see the background um, or to see the image at all. Hopefully you can. You know, I was, I was just on a real kick with dishware for a while. I'm not sure that I still am. I haven't been shopping in a while. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's that one. I, I'll probably keep it. The only one I want to send back is the journal, if, if they'll take it. Plus, with that being like a soft co cover journal, you know, when I go to seal it with... Um, the polyacrylic because the cover of that journal is flexible i i wonder if the polyacrylic is going to crack i don't know i don't know um so the teapot goldfish don't fall on me was 548 so so I think I'll stop it there. Thanks for watching so much if you did. And I know I haven't been on YouTube a whole lot. Um, and to be honest, I was contemplating leaving YouTube for a good while. Um, just trying to like uh, dig myself out of my own 
out of my own hole of depression. So, um, I'm going to try and, you know, make more videos, although these days I am much more busy and exhausted. So, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks, um, everyone for sticking around if you did, and I will talk to you later. Adios.